cannot chase you, I cannot fly, I cannot make you, you make up your mind, you want me to prove it to you. Hey guys, what's up? It is Haley, and today I'm going to be exposing my Finsta. Yeah, you heard it here first. I'm going to be exposing myself. Might regret this later, but um, let's just get into it. Here is a quick little overview of my Finsta. Yeah. Lots of stuff. But uh, we're not going to go through all of this. We're just going to go through some of the more interesting ones and then call it a day so this video is not an eternity long. We have to start it off with the very first picture I ever posted, which was this very infamous quote from Milk and Honey. I'm sure everybody and their mother has seen this quote. But uh, yeah, this was my first post back in 2017. Here is a picture of freshman Haley. She was a whole different breed. I envy freshman me's ability to survive the entire year on only like three hours of sleep or less every single night. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Now I can barely manage to function the next day if I go to sleep any later than 12. I'm getting old. What is this? Also, what the F are my eyebrows? Yikes. I met this guy on Bumble and he reminds me of Daddy Klaus from Vampire Diaries, so stay tuned. He could be the one. He wasn't the one. <laughs> But that's still so funny. So here's a little screenshot of the song These Days by Mike Studd. So I definitely just agreed to go with this guy I know from my class that I've never hung out with before besides for school related stuff and his two friends I've never met before up to Seattle for a Mike Studd concert Monday night with an 8am the next day. Please let this not be weird for me. I'm just trying to live a little, that's all. I also only know like one song so I'm gonna be standing there bobbing my head looking like a fake fan but it's fine. <laughs> Fun fact, he actually came off the stage and was right in front of us singing. And I got a really good video of it. I could have literally reached out my hand and touched him, but I wasn't gonna be weird. But he was there, he was right in front of my face. We made eye contact, so that was pretty cool. Not mad about it. April 3rd, 2019. Ladies, I have a question. Would you rather be what someone wants or what someone needs? For whatever reason, this question got me thinking, because of course the automatic response would be what they need, right? But if you're what they need, then you're not what they want, in this scenario at least. So what would you choose? People always tend to go after what they want versus need, so I'm stumped. Which is actually better? Guys, feel free to add your opinion. <laughs> I miss drunk bowling with my friends. That shit was the best. It was. April 14th, 2019. Does anyone ever just get in these really weird ruts slash moods where you can't really explain what exactly the problem is but you know something's off? Cause same, it's not fun. Girl all the time. May 27th, 2019. Maybe it's the Sagittarius in me but I feel like I'm never fully satisfied with life and where I'm currently at. You guys don't understand how incredibly frustrating that is on a daily basis. It feels like something's constantly missing. Am I the only one? Seriously. I need to know if it's a mutual understanding or if it's just a me problem. June 21st, 2019. I need to meet more people ASAP. People that are down for any kind of crazy night or adventure. I'm bored and just want to have a good summer. Hikes, boat trips, nights out. So I'm now officially accepting best friend applications. Also, this tattoo is hella cute and I kind of want it. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I miss being carefree and always doing some crazy shit. The planet's dying anyway, so might as well make each day count. I would just use my Finsta as like, kind of like my own personal little online diary. I would share the stuff that was going through my head that I felt comfortable enough putting on the internet because even though I only have so many people following me on this account, it's still out there for the entire world to see if it got leaked. I feel like it can be kind of interesting though to look back on these because it kind of shows you like where my head was at during all of this and just where I was at mentally, which was not always a great place. <laughs> not at all. June 29th, 2019. It's a little picture of my eye. I was not high. This was my eye having an allergic reaction to makeup, so there's that. Is it just me or does anyone else get kind of depressed thinking about how we're conditioned as a society to settle for what we're told equals success and happiness? We grow up with this preconception that happiness is equivalent to achieving an education, 
because with that education we'll land a job and with that job we'll make a steady income and with that steady income we can obtain more things and with those things we can obtain even more things and that doesn't even cut it half the time. Now we're expected to get the highest education with the most prestige degree in order to settle for any type of income worth enough money to live comfortably, not struggling paycheck to paycheck. It baffles me. I get so caught up in it sometimes, catching myself believing that that equals living, and it doesn't. The idea of it all bores me to death, if I'm being completely honest. I've struggled for years trying to understand what it is I want to do with my life, career-wise, and what I'm passionate enough about to dedicate my time and energy to every day. The answer to that being nothing. Absolutely nothing, because I don't want to have to choose to live the same life everyone else is living. The life we're all expected to live. Talk about being f***ing miserable all the time. No thanks. I just want to be and do whatever my heart desires in the moment. That's what I want as my occupation. Spontaneity. I don't want to be a regular adult with this cookie cutter job, relationship, family, or in general, life. I'll pass. This probably makes no sense and is obnoxiously long, so I'm just going to go to sleep for now. Haley's 1am thought slash rant over. Ooh, that one I still feel so deep in my soul. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so, ooh, the person that this involves could very well be watching this video, so... If you are, <laughs> this one's for you. September 20th, 2019. Coming to Washington to visit next year, we should link up. So is that a no for spring then since you didn't reply, lol? Sorry, I didn't even see this, but yeah, I'm good with that. It's just kind of far, so I can't guarantee anything yet. But if it works out when you're here, then sure. I know you probably have hella guys in your DMs trying for you. And I, it sounds like a plan. Haven't seen you since Germany, so yeah. It would be nice to see you again, and hopefully it works out so I can treat all of that beauty of yours. Also, let me get your numbers so that we can talk more, because we're both not on this all the time. Just to let you know, I am talking to someone. So I'd be cool with us chilling as friends and catching up if you're ever around, but I don't want to give you the wrong idea. That's cool. I mean, I'll try not to make any moves, because you fine AF. But yeah, when I'm there, we should definitely catch up. Haha, <laughs> well thanks, but for real, no moves can be made. LOL, okay. What's your snap so we can talk there? LOL, more discreet. And what if I just magically get a boner and I can't help it? And I'm hard as shit, LOL. Still no moves? Still no moves. This was October 4th, 2019, so basically this time last year. Today I choose happiness. I know it says joy, but same difference. I've come to realize in these last two very stressful weeks that I am my own worst enemy. I am the only person standing in the way of living a life I want to live, a life I am proud of, and being the best version of myself. I am tired of falling victim to these circumstances and letting them dictate my happiness. If it doesn't serve the purpose of helping me succeed, grow, and reach the goals I wish to achieve in this lifetime, then it's not for me. And if it's not for me, I don't want it anymore. I want better. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I like putting stuff like this on my Finsta for the purpose of coming back to see how very different my mindset will be a couple weeks from now. I want this to act as a reminder to myself when I'm feeling down that I can have absolutely anything I want out of this life. So, instead of whining about it, I'm gonna go get it. Yo, looking back at all these old videos makes me wonder what the hell my life even was three years ago. It was wild. You'd think I was in a movie or something. So, apparently I like all the boys with J names, which Twitter made very clear were the ones to f*** you over the most. I will now test that theory for all my sensitive girlies out there. I volunteer as tribute. You can thank me later. Here's a drunk photo of myself. <laughs> December 11, 2019. I really don't even try, yet I somehow end up in weird situations. It really do be like that. Also, don't remember taking this pic, but we love making drunk friends. Yeah. <laughs> Here's good old co-star just giving me my daily predictions. Your biggest challenge is to avoid becoming dead inside. Yep. Oh, this was a keeper. This one was a keeper. December 19th, 2019. So this dude from Tinder had messaged me on Snap, and this is what he said. 
This may seem like I'm joking, but I'm really not. I was recently diagnosed with a disease called chiroaudiovascular malexia. Google it if you want. It means I don't get enough blood to my ears, so they slowly freeze. Soon they will fall off. There's no permanent cure, but there's one treatment. I need to heat my ears constantly, and the only material that's soft and warm enough to treat my ears is pretty girl's inner thighs. I need to just sit on my face for medical reasons. What the F is this? Last time I let random Tinder boys on my snap. Definitely just asked my dad if the 69ers were playing instead of the 49ers, and I want to die. <laughs> Still want to die. Gotta love when I put in minimal effort. A guy is so interested, yet when I make any kind of effort, it ain't it. What kind of simulation is this? Let me the F out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna show this video fully because it has people's faces in it. And I don't know if they wanna be on the internet. So, uh, yeah. It's basically us doing that TikTok of Take a shot, take a TikTok, bitch. <laughs> That's basically what we were doing. It's crazy to think how content I used to be being alone. I preferred it. A year ago, I spent majority of my days alone or with my family, but this last year so much has changed. These months have been filled with so many people and so many memories in such a short amount of time. During this time, I've come to realize how much I value spending time with others, even if it's just chilling on the couch, watching a show, grocery shopping. Doesn't matter the occasion, I enjoy being around good people. My loner self a year ago would have laughed at the thought of almost never being home sleeping in my own bed. Now when I don't get to experience life with the people that mean the most to me, it just doesn't feel right. This is my moment of gratitude for every person currently in my life. You're here for a reason. I thank God every day for allowing me to get to play a part in your journey and for you getting to play a part in mine. It means more than you know. August 5th. August 16th. When Nick tells me not to drink the tequila and coke, I made extra strong for him and I don't listen slash down it in 0.5 seconds to prove he was being a little bit only to find my head in a toilet 15 minutes later. We love to see it. Hate to see it. And we've made it to my very last Finsta post. Turns out physical pain actually shuts that annoying little nagging part of the mind off for the time being. Highly recommend. I was feeling like a sad bitch, but now I'm a bad bitch. That is all. Wow, it was a whirlwind of emotions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of me in the future. I will be doing a lot more videos, and I'm always open to your suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!